Man, this is the best way to get glowstone. Just go ahead and place blocks underneath it. And there you go. That's going to be trickier. Oh well. Back to the gravel. CT here, back for another uh, adventure in the world of Crystal Tent. Right now we're back in the nether picking up some more gravel. So, I did make a discovery just a minute ago, which I'll go ahead and put in real quickly. I think I found the mother load of gravel. What I found here, that should, that should definitely keep me busy for quite some time. And that's hopeful, somewhat. Don't know how I'm going to get up there, but... Eh, I'll figure something out. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I keep hearing uh, gas all the time. Right now I'm trying to investigate, is there any way I can get up to there? Well, we'll find out. Oh, I'm going to have to go way up there. spot a little bit. Um, yeah, it's going to be a pain in the butt to get up there. Yes, you can hear them, but you can't see them. Okay, I tell you what, I'll be back as soon as I can get uh, closer to that uh, fortress. Okay, I found the fortress, but I was attacked immediately by blades. I'm gonna get over there exactly. Hard to say. Because. It's not going to be easy. Uh. I'm going to dig back down again. Okay, that was weird. Yeah, I saw it. Strange it didn't see me. Huh. No idea where it went. Let's see, how high am I above that sucker? Uh, I guess... Uh, hard to tell. Dang it! Uh, 
Okay. This is not gonna be good. There. Now I got a wall to hide behind while I heal up. This could take a while. You know, it's usually a lot easier to get into these suckers. This one's a pain in the butt. Alright. Not sure where it spawned from. Or right around there. Hey, miss. Boy, did it miss. I got an idea. Instead of trying to carve my way down that way. Is I don't know exactly how deep I need to go. I'm thinking right about here. Just opening a little bit. There, now I can see a little bit better. Unfortunately, they can see me better too. Bad at this. Ow. Okay. Not the best plan. this a little bit. Oh, no wonder I couldn't pick anything up. Couldn't pick that thing up. Now, how to get there? There we go. Question is, are we going to find anything good in here? And if we do, will I be able to carry it? Because I got a lot of nether rack on me.
There we go. Uh, switch swords just in case. That may not have been my best idea. Nope. It definitely wasn't. There we go. Much better. Okay. Question is, how am I going to get past these guys? Let's see how many arrows do I got left? Forty. That'd be cool if I had actually gotten a Wither Skull, but I already know I didn't. And this doesn't go anywhere. Away a little bit. It'd be a lot easier if I had a potion of uh, fire resistance on me. Problem is, I need nether wart in order to make potions. Oh, that's what I was hearing. That guy's stomping around. I was wondering. Now I've got to find a way to get inside this thing, or if there is anything to get inside of. Which I'm guessing is probably not the case. Okay, it wasn't what I was trying to Luckily, he missed. Got him, but I'm pretty sure he was over lava. All right, if I can get down to that section, I'll be doing good. Question is, how am I going to do that? Huh. 
I got an idea. It's not going to be fun. But this could work. Now if I'm right, should be about the right height. Too high still? Okay. Looks like I'm going to have to go ahead and use uh, my last three pieces of cobble. Not a problem. Okay, where'd they go? Yes, I do know I have an iron pickaxe. I just don't want to use it just yet. I go to hello? I'm starting to wonder. I didn't go too low. I just didn't go far enough. I had the right idea. need to run. We got some gold. I'm not going to worry about the horse armor. Uh, not very useful. Okay, that's a dead end. this. 
I got soul sand at the house, so... This is the main part. Got him. Now, I know there's a chest there. Chest there. This appears to be a dead end. Which probably goes out over nothing. Yep, just what I thought. I apologize if this is too dark. But I don't have a lot of torches on me. And I don't exactly have any coal. Got some obsidian. Uh, uh, I might be able to melt down the chest plate. I've got saddles like crazy anyway, so. <clears throat> Not so worried about the saddles. Take the nether wart. I see here I got a flint and steel, so. Dust into actual glowstone. Let's see, that'll give me a little bit more room. Do I go this way? Well, nothing down that way anyway. stairs. And nothing. All right. If there's nothing, then there's nothing. lot of nothing at that. Interesting. So I think this is the only direction we haven't gotten yet. Not the best fortress. I saw him. Before he saw me.
You didn't even drop anything. Okay, what's up here? Okay, that's the way we came in. All right. More than another worth the better. Because while I was able to get another worth blocks, I couldn't separate it back into another worth. Hmm. Looks like this is the end of this place. I don't think this place is going to be going anywhere good anyway anytime soon. Yep. Okay, time to head on back. I'll see you shortly. Remember when I said I didn't need salt sand? This is why. Okay, I made it back to the base. Planted about four of those. Put the rest in here. Put my glowstone dust and well, there, yeah, plenty of glowstone for the moment. Not a lot of quartz, but I'm not really all that worried about the quartz at the moment. Blaze rods. Where did I put those? Ah, in there. Weird. Okay. Well, that can get cooked. And these can go over here. Oh, by the way, uh, off camera, I did a little bit of work. Let me go and show you. If you noticed, all the horses and uh, the llamas are all in this section. My sheep are over here. Need to share them soon. All my pigs are over here. I went, this is over my fishing area, of course. Chickens are over here. I'm not worried about collecting the eggs because I got pretty much a chest to pull of them. And over here, which has, strangely enough ends up butting up against the villagers, we have our cows, mushroom cows, brown mushroom cows. Hey, villagers. A couple of irons, uh, golems. Well, cool. what I need to do is breed up more of these, uh, um, yeah, the regular cows. That way I can get some leather. Breed up more sheep so that way I can go ahead and uh, get myself uh, the wool, which is why they are on grass. Oh, and yes, I did fill in uh, all of that water that was in here. But that was before this trip to the nether. Now what I'm thinking about doing is probably in this area actually build myself a house and surround it with, uh, say, like about two or three crop fields. Something like that. We'll figure that out. But let's go ahead and get this picked up.
and we can see if I can uh, sell any more uh, meat root to the farmer. Because I know I'm going to need a lot of emeralds. I gotta get the armor smith and uh, the weapon smith up, or tool smith, whichever. So I figure if I can get some uh, crop fields going, like get beet, uh, beetroot going, get uh, the wheat going so I can go ahead and breed up the animals, and get the seeds from that for the chickens. Uh, let's see, I also want to go ahead and get the uh, melons. And pumpkins, also for the farmer. Carrots, so I can go get the pigs going. Really going. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I still got a lot of stuff to go ahead and do with that, too. Let's see some of these seeds. I got way too many of them. Alright, let's see how many of these beetroot I can sell. Dude, you coming in or not? Dude, coming in? I'll take that as a no. I still need to go ahead and make houses for these guys. Hey, farmer. Let's see here. Hmm, looks like eight. Cool. Now I'm going to do the seeds. Turn it into bone meal. Yeah, I know it takes a lot, but hey. Won't we get rid of all these excess seeds? If you can think of a better way, go ahead and let me know. I mean, mainly because of the fact I still have a lot of uh, regular seeds that I can go ahead and use for chickens. Dude, you just had to jump in there? These are some messy guys. I was wondering how many it was going to take for that. And of course I get bumped into. Figures. By a golem? Hard to believe. Actually, on a second thought, not that hard to believe. These guys just love getting in the way. Hey! I'm trying to do something here. Pushy guys. love to jump all over everything. Don't ask me why, but they do. And there we go. Now let's see what we can do with our weapons and tools. At the moment, not much. He's still an apprentice. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of coal. I was a weaponsmith. 
Do we have an armor smith? That's a butcher. Another butcher. Huh. Cartographer. He's a master of that. Fisherman. I gotta find out a way to go ahead and uh, get tools. I may need an anvil over here. I don't know. Or I should say armor. But now that I've got that, I think it's probably safe to go ahead and make a brewing stand. Let's see here. We're going to need one of those. And I do believe I need some cobble. Oh, by the way, that's how much gravel I've got. Add it to that much dirt, and I'll have plenty of dirt. But the cobble, I think I got a little bit. Eh, just a little. While I'm over here. Let's see if we can find it in here. And just like that, we have a brewing stand. Where am I going to put him? I can put him on the floor for right now. Let's see. I do have, I believe I have a couple bottles. Just not over here. I got some bows over here. Still got that right there. Oh, but on the other hand, well, let me go to sleep first. Get that out of the way. Oh, you know, I have been doing a little bit of fishing. It's all right, horses. For some reason, sometimes when I'm trying to do something, they want to get in the way. Like I said, I do have done some fishing. That's my current fishing rod. I fixed it up a little bit. So it's got, look at the C2 on there, I'm breaking three and mending. So I don't have to worry about running out. But I've got a few books, a few fishing rods. See, that's got mending. Lure 2? Hmm, I wonder if I can add that to that. I don't know. <clears throat> Let's see. Look at C2. Look at C2, I'm breaking three. Mending, I'm breaking three. Lugging C2, I'm breaking three. Lugging C3, I'm breaking three. Curse of Vanishing, I'm breaking three. Bow, punch one. Power four, flame, mending. That's what I'm thinking about starting to use anyway, maybe. Power four, flame, infinity. I'm breaking three. And flame, power four. But books, we got power four, sharpness three, fire protection three, knockback two, protection three, uh, efficiency, yeah, efficiency three, looting two, power three, efficiency three, multi shot. Power four, punch two, fire protection three, man, pause four, flame protection three, protection three. 
and mending. But we do have that uh, librarian that gives us mending books anyway, so that helps a lot. Now, what is it we need? What special tool thing do we need for the armorer? Because I haven't got a clue. If you guys know, leave that in the comments description below. But in the meantime, I think I'll go ahead and leave the episode here anyway. So, if you haven't enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like. It's time to be the first episode you've seen by me. Please consider subscribing. And go and tell your friends about me. Heck, tell your enemies about me. I don't care. We'll see you guys next time on One Block.